we didn't really miss a day in spite of the pandemic. Um, we went from a Friday in the room together to a Monday on Zoom. Uh, and so we are work, we're all working. And by the way, um, Vince, Gil, Vince hadn't been in the room for the last few seasons and he's come back. Uh, and he is, he is fully, he is, he is, he's on fire in a row. <laughs> and as there's so many great big ideas that we have in so many wonderful, um, scenes and we're, we're right now we're on, uh, we're, I think we're pretty close to finishing episode four and we have a, um, we have an idea for everything that you asked about. <laughs> we have an idea of where we think this is going where what ends this all this uh we have an idea about characters who might or might not return like like Walt and Jesse we have thoughts uh but you know we're as you know we said earlier in the conversation uh you don't want to commit to anything too much because things change and if um if the story veers zigs or zags in a way that makes it impossible for us to have even beloved characters uh, back, we won't have them back because our our goal is to have us have a story that makes sense on its own and is not dependent on um on, on those references or or that. But, but having said that, um, uh, I got to be in Albuquerque actually. I, I I made a point of flying to Albuquerque with my family for one day of the El Camino shoot, <laughs> and there was you know Brian flew in secretly. Uh, and there was Aaron, and they were in that, I'm sure you've seen El Camino, in that great scene in the diner uh, that Vince wrote and directed, and we spent a day watching these two guys, and then we had dinner together, and it was, it was such a special thing to see those two guys as those characters again. They, they, are, they are unique, they're bigger than life, uh, but, and, and, and it's, it was such a terrific scene. I like to think that we don't have as much of an obligation to have Walt and Jesse back on Better Call Saul because they're such a great appearance on, uh, in, in El Camino. But having said that, I would love, boy, I would love to have them back. I'd love to have Brian direct an episode. Yeah. I got to, I got to write an episode that Brian directed and I was there on set with him every day. And it was, it was a wonderful experience. He is, he is a magnificent director. He's one of the few directors who is, has a facility for comedy and for the lightest comedy and the darkest drama and can flip back and forth. He is, he's remarkable. He's a, and he's a great guy. I'd love, I'd love to work with both of them. And Aaron Paul is uh, possibly the happiest human being I've ever met. And, and he makes everybody around him happy. So yeah, I would love to have them back. <laughs> I think uh, fans would love to see them back. Um, I know you have to go, but one last question for you was, Kind of curious. Uh, I know the final season is more episodes than you guys usually have. I was kind of curious what the decision was behind that. I'm not complaining. Love to see. More. Well, you know, we, we it's really a it's a thumbnail, and I, we talked about it a lot. And and one of the concerns I had was uh, I kept saying, you know, I barely survive physically <laughs> making it through ten episodes. How how are we going to do thirteen? Uh, and then uh, you know. Tom Schnau said to me, you know, you'll know it's the last 13. So, you know, you'll see the, you'll see, you'll be, you'll see the barn door in the dis the barn in the distance. You'll be like the horse that gallops down the last bit. Uh, and so I took that, I took that and, but you know, we also have a lot to do. Um, there's a lot, we have a lot of story. And so it's a little bit of a, it's a little bit of a guess, to be honest with you, uh, you know, is what's the right number? You know, is it, you know, is it, is it, nine is it 16 is it you know you kind of you kind of is it 10 10 doesn't seem like enough i don't think we're physically capable of making 15 um and it would probably take so long that everyone would be bored with waiting for us uh so i think you know that was we kind of settled on 13 and and uh i have to say here we are breaking episode four i think it's the right number and i, I i'm really hoping uh i'm really hoping that we stick the landing i i People are really tough on series enders now. Yeah. That's what the thing. It's making me all nervous. It's making me all nervous because people are very. Uh, uh, there, it makes me realize watching all the shows that have a, a series ending, and then getting a little look at, at the different opinions about it. It's very tough to take. You know, in our case, it'll be sixty-three hours roughly 
of story and then run it to a satisfying conclusion. Uh, and then plus we have the breaking bad of it. So I, yeah, I know your my hair is going to fall out in the next five seconds talking about it. We'll do our best. I, I'm, I'm excited. 